Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So today I've come up with the easy recipe and that's cauliflower masala or you can call it as cauliflower masala fry any way you want and it's a very easy recipe and at the same time very delicious and kids love to eat them. You can very well take this along with the chapati, naan, pulka or puri or even fried rice or you can very well mix it up with rice and you can very well take it out. And um, so today I'm going to explain you how to make this simple easy recipe um, at home with very few ingredients at the kitchen so let's get started with the cooking so i've just taken a kadai to that i've added like one tablespoon of oil you can add any oil of your choice i've added here refined oil so to that i'm going to add about one big size onion that i cut it into julienne's So I just kept the flame on medium. I'm just going to stir it a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. So what does the salt does is uh, it releases the moisture in the onion and makes the onion cook faster. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt now. Stir it a little. And again, I'm just going to cook this for about 3 to 5 minutes or until the onions are left a little softened. by uh, closing the lid and now it's been 3 to 5 minutes the onions are softer now it's time to add freshly pounded in ginger garlic paste so it's a homemade ginger garlic paste it gives you a lot of aroma and flavor to the entire dish so i'm just going to add about 1 tablespoon of that and now i'm going to stir it thoroughly and while you're cooking itself you could smell the aroma of ginger garlic paste it smells great actually so stir it and again i'm going to cook this for about 3 minutes on medium flame with the lid closed and uh, i just burnt it a little as this is new kadai it it gets stuck in the bottom of the kadai uh, like 2 to 3 times and after that it sets actually so this is the second time i'm using this kadai so it is it gets stuck in at the bottom of that and uh, so now i'm going to add in like one big size tomatoes that are sliced into fine uh, fine pieces i'm going to add that and cook for about 5 minutes or until the tomatoes become squishy so now the tomatoes are done So as I told you, as this is a new kadai, it gets stuck in uh, at the bottom. And uh, now it's time to add in the powder masalas, starting off by one spoon of turmeric powder, and then followed by one spoon of Kashmiri red chili powder. I always add this Kashmiri red chili powder in all my dishes. It gives you a lot of color and flavor to the dish. And one spoon of plain red chili powder. You can increase or reduce your spiciness according to your uh, taste. And one spoon of coriander powder, one spoon of cumin powder, and half spoon of pepper powder, and then half spoon of garam masala powder as well. So keep the flame on sim and stir it for one minute. And I've already blanched the cauliflower florets uh, in boiling water for like one to two minutes. So now I'm just adding that. mix all together until the masalas get well into the each uh, cauliflower florets and now i'm going to add about half cup of water and cook this on medium flame with the lid closed for about 5 to 10 minutes it depends according to your size of the florets so for me it takes about 5 to 7 minutes And yes now it's been like 5 to 7 minutes and my cauliflower are done it's well cooked now at this stage you can add the salt the required salt So now I'm going to add my required salt And that's it we are uh, like in the final stage now And after adding salt, I'm just going to add uh, like two pinch of garam masala. 
So stir it thoroughly. And yes, now I'm going to add about two pinch of garam masala just for extra flavor. And that is all. This is how easy to make cauliflower masala fry. Very, very simple and easy recipe. And at the same time, it tastes delicious. So you can roll it over in your chapatis or uh, naan or uh, pulka. You can very well eat it out. It, it tastes delicious. Trust me, try it out in your home and let me know your valuable comments in the comment section. And finally, I'm just garnishing with uh, garnishing it with some finely chopped coriander leaves. So that's it. Cauliflower masala is absolutely ready. And if you try this recipe, please do send me the picture of the recipe to my mail, which is given in the description box. And I will be very happy and I would really appreciate it. And if you're still new to my channel, click on that red subscribe button and join my family. And uh, thank you so much for your love and support. I will all catch you in my next recipe. Until then, stay happy. Love you all.